Welcome, in this video we are going to use Google Authenticator as multi-factor authentication in the Spring Authorization Server. The first thing you need is a smartphone with the Google Authenticator app. There are a few Maven dependencies available for this app, so it is very easy to use this app in a Spring Boot project. We start with the Palm XML file. We have a new dependency. Two-factor authentication. There are several options, but we have chosen this dependency. In the custom user detail service from the previous video we have a small adjustment. In the save user info MF a registered method we store secret that we will create later. The new class authenticator service provides communication with the time-based one-time password util. In this class we compare the code. Create a new secret when registering a user. Create a QR code image. And create a new code when registering. We will use these new methods in the login controller. We start with constructor injection of authenticator service and custom user detail service and create three variables. Generate code base32 secret key ID. We start the flow at the authenticator endpoint. If the user who has just logged in is not yet registered, we will go to the registration get request via a redirect. Here we make a secret. Retrieve the key ID from the database. And generate a code. Finally, we create a QR code image and transfer it to the page with the model. In the registration post request we compare the code that the user entered with the code generated in the GET request. We check whether the security question enabled is true and continue with the flow. The other endpoints have not changed. The last adjustment is the registration page. Here we have an additional DIV tag for the QR code image. We can now start the project and test it with Insomnia. Before we continue with the test, we first look at the database. None of the users have an MFA secret and none of the users are registered. We have disabled MFA enabled for the admin user. We have started the project and can now test it. If we have filled in everything correctly in Insomnia, we can click on Fetch Tokens. We start with the user admin. We log in with the name and password. Because MFA enabled has been disabled in the database, we receive the tokens immediately after logging in. After admin login was successful we are now testing user1. We now log in with user1 and the password. Because MFA enabled is active for this user and MFA registered is not active, we first go to the register page. We now see a QR code that we have to scan with the Google Authenticator app. After scanning we receive a code that we must enter and press submit. This must be done quickly, if you are late the code will no longer be valid and you will have to start over. Then we go to the security question page and if everything goes well we will see the tokens. After user1 is registered. Let's go back to the database. The data of user1 has been automatically adjusted. The user now has an MFA secret and MFA registered is now active. The last test we want to show is a second login with user1. Because we now have an MFA secret in the database and MFA registered is active, we now go to the authenticator page immediately after logging in with user1 and the password. We now have to enter the code that we see in the Google Authenticator app. If everything goes well, 
we will get the security question page again and then the access tokens again. That's it for today, in the next video we will further secure the data in the database, the MFA secret and security answer must be encrypted so that no one can misuse the keys. Thank you for supporting our channel, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thank you.